This video is supported by Curiosity Stream. Falcon Heavy is the most powerful rocket by far in our current rocket lineups. The only rocket that can top Falcon Heavy's capability is the space launch system. But with $14 billion in investment and no visible results, it is safe to say that Falcon Heavy's capability will not be surpassed for years. It's a very powerful rocket. But precisely because of this reason, there's one question we need to ask. Is Falcon Heavy overpowered? The first indication of Falcon Heavy being OP is the frequency of its launch. There are very little demand for it. After its first launch in February last year, it was never flown again. The next launch of Falcon Heavy is scheduled for April 2019 with Arabsat 6A. But if you look at its launch detail, you know that Falcon Heavy is not necessary for this launch. Falcon 9 would be sufficient. Therefore, SpaceX is flying Falcon Heavy this time as a demonstration of technology so that SpaceX could get Falcon Heavy certified for the future military launches and possibly get awarded more contracts in the future. So why is there no demand for Falcon Heavy? Well, rockets are simply carriers. The payload is what matters at the end of the day. If you're a TV program provider, what matters to you is that your program reaches your customers uninterrupted. For SpaceX, it's only responsible for getting payloads to its intended orbit. This is why Falcon Heavy gets so little demand. There are simply too few payloads that are heavy enough for Falcon Heavy. Looking at the specs, Falcon Heavy is the only super heavy lift launch vehicle operational. The Chinese are 12 years away from getting its own super heavy lift launcher, the Long March 9. The Russians are building a super heavy vehicle called Yenisei, effectively resurrecting Energia a successful Soviet-era beast, but they're also at least 10 years away. Therefore, it is important to distinguish rockets based on their payload capabilities and understand why that matters. For LEO missions, rockets that are able to send payloads between 20 tons to 50 tons are classified as heavy lift vehicles. Rockets with payload capability above 50 tons are super heavy lift vehicles. Anything below 20 are classified as medium and below two tons, small lift launch vehicles. Most rockets available today are either medium or small lift. Falcon 9, for example, is a typical medium lift launch vehicle. The entire fleet of the Chinese Long March rockets are within the medium lift classification except for Long March 5. The SLVs from India is also within the medium lift range. Therefore, this makes Falcon Heavy's capability over 50 tons quite extraordinary, outcompeting all operational rockets by a large margin. Then we got to this chicken and egg problem. Is the lack of launch capability to be blamed for lack of large payloads or the other way around? Put it simply, is Falcon Heavy's infrequent launches the result of the lack of demand or the cause of it? I think it would be hard to discern because rockets and satellite technologies are so highly controlled by states around the world that very few companies get to access them. But one thing is for sure, the space industry has not seen such a disruptive agent like SpaceX. Comparing them individually, the Chinese fleet of Long March rockets are very capable, but the design was inherited from the Soviet-era missile systems, which resulted in many rockets with multiple stages. The most capable Changzheng 5, for example, has a three-stage-to-orbit design. More separation events might lead to complications during missions. The SLVs from India are proven to be reliable and very competitive in terms of cost in the commercial space, but their capability do not put them in direct competition with SpaceX. The most powerful GSLV has a max payload capability of 5 tons, roughly a quarter that of Falcon 9. Ariane 5 is a very capable rocket, but its high price tag of 150 to 220 million per launch would be a big challenge, especially comparing to Falcon Heavy's 90 million price tag. Ariane 6, that is still in development, would be a better competitor for Falcon Heavy in terms of price. But again, it's in the heavy lift vehicle category with expected launch capability of just over 20 tons. Same thing goes to Delta IV Heavy and Atlas V. Put it simply, anything above 25 tons Falcon Heavy is the only vehicle ready for it right now. So yes, Falcon Heavy is kind of overpowered. One last thing that makes Falcon Heavy OP is the industry trend of going small with small sets and cube sets. As a result of the last 20 years of tech advancement, processors and computers are getting smaller, making it possible to have tiny satellites 
that perform incredibly complicated tasks that used to be done by huge satellites. This puts smaller launchers like Rocket Lab's Electron desirable, not necessarily Falcon Heavy. So what does it mean to have a machine that's overpowered? Well, it means one of two things. One, it's unfortunate. The market is not ready, you're too early in the game. Just like how YouTube succeeded, but many of its predecessors didn't. Obviously, this option is not acceptable for SpaceX. Or two, you need to either create the market for your product or someone else has to do it for you. In the case of Falcon Heavy, I think it's the second one. SpaceX is trying to create a commercial market with the Starlink project and NASA's focus on the moon makes Falcon Heavy's capability extremely useful. Although Falcon Heavy is indeed overpowered for our current missions, when regular cislunar transit begins, Falcon Heavy will be the right vehicle for it. For now, those missions are still planned to be performed by the Space Launch System, but it hasn't been keeping up with its schedules, so I'd say Falcon Heavy is a good vehicle for those missions before BFR is ready. Starlink is a wild card for now, but it is conceivable that Falcon Heavy could be used for transporting communication satellites in large quantities to low Earth orbit. Therefore, at the end of the day, overpowered is a relative concept in the space industry. Is Falcon Heavy overpowered for missions right now? Yes, but let's not forget that once upon a time, a rocket that is far more powerful than Falcon Heavy has occupied the world stage for an entire decade, achieving the unthinkable and exploring the unknown. Hey, this is Lei. If you want more high quality space videos like this one, you should of course subscribe this channel. However, another thing you can do is to check out our sponsor of today, Curiosity Stream a subscription streaming service that offers over 2,400 documentaries from some of the world's best filmmakers. As more and more countries are planning their moon landings in the 2020s, moon becomes an increasingly important topic to talk about. The Apollo moon landings documentary is available on CuriosityStream right now, and that's my recommendation for you today. Curiosity Stream has an entire section focused on space, so I'm sure you have a great time exploring our solar system with their award-winning documentaries. Curiosity Stream offered our audiences a 31-day free trial, so sign up with the link in the description down below with the code CuriousElephant. Once your free trial is up, they charge $19.99 a year, which is only $1.67 a month. So start binge-watching and exploring our solar system today with Curiosity Stream. Hey, really quickly, thank you for watching, especially to my Patreon supporters. I haven't said this for a long time, but thank you all for supporting me on Patreon, and I'll keep you guys updated, as always, uh, with my uh, early scripts and uh, uh, quick questions, asking for your advice and suggestions for future videos. All right, I'll see you guys next time.